Hello and welcome to the second episode of BOTB TV. Uh, my name is Christian Williams. And I'm Tim Oldman. And this is your roundup of all things cars and BOTB, coming to you from BOTB's HQ here in Parsons Green in South West London. Yeah, and thanks everybody for all the positive comments about last week's show. We're glad you liked it. And, you know, like a, like a fine wine or a really smelly <laughs> French cheese or something, you know, we're, hopefully we're going to get better with age. Yeah, hopefully we won't get bald with age either. <clears throat> anyway, uh, right, on to the first thing, and I can't wait to get into this, it's fantastic. I'd call it the, the crown jewels of In The Headlights this week, the brand new Lamborghini Aventador S. Safe to say that is quite an incredible piece of machinery. It is. It's a stunning thing, isn't it? And a little hint, we're going to be hearing a little bit more of that later on in the show. Good. I can't get enough of that event at all, Sam. It's fantastic. Uh, in the meantime, let's take a look at what else we have in the headlights this week. We have the brand new Porsche Carrera T. Yeah. What a thing. What a car. I mean, it's, it's uh, what, lighter than a 911? Uh, yeah. It's got more options on it, and it's uh, coming in at a lower price. Yeah, yeah, it's based on the base model, so it's, it's going to be, it's, it's the pure, a real purist 911. Basically. Okay. You, you seem to get a lot more Porsche for your money. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I think this is going to be a really big seller for Porsche. Yeah, it's going to be so popular. But next up in the headlights, we have the Urban Automotive Land Rover Defender which uh, you may have seen, I did a Facebook Live with on, the, on yesterday, and I mean, th this is one of those really weird cars that is it's so desirable, you want one, but really, it's, it's, the Defender's not a great car. Is well, it? I mean, you've driven <laughs> one, right? Yeah, I have. It's, yeah. it's a bit like driving a tractor. Yeah, it is a bit. I mean, they're great to look at, and unless you're actually just tearing around off-road, I wouldn't want to drive one on a daily basis, I don't think. No, but they just, the, the, the weird things, they just look so cool. They do look cool, yeah. You want to drive one, you want to be in one, but yeah. you don't actually want to drive one. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, not actually a car this time, but a watch. Take a look at this, a brand new Rolex. Now, we've seen a lot of comments from you guys on our Facebook pages, and also you've been emailing us as well, wanting watches on BOTB. So... This one's for you. As well as that, you may have seen uh, endorser for In The Headlights this week, uh, Tom from TGE TV. He's a big fan of this. He's got one of these watches, uh, and we decided to put it in. Yeah, so why well, not? Exactly. And what we've got here is the Rolex Daytona Cosmograph. Now, I confess, I'm not exactly an expert on watches, uh, but from what I'm reading here, uh, I can tell you that it's efficient, precise, legible, robust, reliable, waterproof, self-winding, comfortable, elegant, and apparently timeless. And quite expensive, actually. Uh, yes. This watch is, what, worth £20,000? Yeah. Yeah. About the same as a medium-sized hatchback. <laughs> yeah, you could look at it like that. Probably a watch you want to wear on a nice occasion. Mm. Uh, and we've actually seen that this is really, really popular with you guys. So, watches may be a thing that we uh, continue doing in the future. Now, in other news, on Tuesday, I surprised Dream Car winner number 397. Here's a little reminder of how it went. It's Monday evening and we've just found out that this week's winner is abroad. So we've popped down to Porsche East London because Ryan Gifford has won this fantastic Porsche 718 Cayman GTS, the brand new one. I've got Ryan's number on my phone. Let's try and get him on FaceTime. Hello. Hi, Ryan Gifford. This is Christian Williams from BOTB. Oh my God. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. I can get on Skype. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm very well. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks. And you have won a brand new Porsche 718 Cayman GTS. Oh my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> wow. You've also won 20,000 pounds in cash. I am feeling amazing right now. Ryan, it was great to chat to you and um, congratulations again. Thank you so much, Christian. Massive congratulations again to Ryan, winning one of my personal favourite cars, the brand new Porsche 718 Cayman GTS. What a car. Yeah, yeah, fantastic thing. And 20,000 pounds in the boot as well. Well, yeah, I think you're going to need all of that for the options, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, it all leads us quite nicely onto looking back at one of our previous winners here at BOTV. Exactly. This week we've chosen uh, Jane Chapman from February 2013, and she won an Audi RS4 Avant. And Will surprised her actually at the BOTB stand in Westfield Shopping Centre where she got her tickets. Nice, let's have a look. I probably thought you were just coming here for lunch today, um, yes, but actually this has all been engineered to get you here. Yes. And the reason is, you've won. 
Congratulations. Am <laughs> I just like my standing here, really? Are you all here, yeah? And you bought your feet oh, out. Yeah. <laughs> but now you are a sport. So you've oh got God. the most amazing, almost sixty thousand pound car that you've just. Oh, <laughs> Uh, you can give us a day, Mark. And thanks to Beatrice, who said all that. Mark, who obviously sold you the tickets. He, said, he, did, he did say that you were the most cynical person he ever sold a ticket to in his life. And said, I know, well, Mark said he's taken a long time to convince I'm so happy you. But, uh, I'm so happy. <laughs> try and get the car. Are you? I told you. I told you. No. Okay, now I totally see where the BOTB hug comes from. I think Jane basically started that with Will. Yeah. So thanks, Jane. That's now why I go and hug everyone. <laughs> uh, Tim, what else is in the news this week? Well, big news this week. Oh, there it is. The Aston Martin Vantage has been released. I mean, this is one of the most beautiful cars ever made. It was so popular in the competition. always has been for years. And now they've had the hardest job in the world, which is replacing it. And just look at it. Do you... Th now... I th I'm going to be slightly devil's advocate here because I don't like the front. I like the rear. The front, to me, it kind of reminds me a bit of an MX-5. Oh, it burns. <laughs> now, see, now, one problem I think that Aston have done here is, for a start, launching it in lime green on the <laughs> yeah. photos, which I, I'm not a fan of. Uh, but also, the photos are from quite low down. I've seen this in the, in the flesh, and you don't notice that grill as much at all. Okay, in all the right. Flesh, and it, I, I actually really like it. Okay, so better great. in the flesh. Yeah. Something that I don't need to know if it looks better in the flesh is this, the brand new Tesla Roadster. Yeah. I watched the full presentation. I did uh, I? <laughs> and it was absolutely phenomenal. The stats on this car, bonkers, right? 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds? Yeah, yeah. I mean, how is that even possible? I think your internal organs will just be left in the rear seats. Yeah, I saw some of the press going out for drives and not one of them were like, well, oh, it feels a bit slow. Um, uh, and I think, what, a range of... 600 miles? Yeah, somehow. We're what? not we're not sure how yet, but there's 600 miles range. That's and mad. 250 mile an hour plus top speed. Jeez. Well, that's going to be an absolute rocket. And as well as that, you can apparently fit another two people in. So it's a two plus two. Yeah. It, it's, it's ripping up the rule book. And wow. it's made everything else feel about 20 years old Jeez. instantly. And finally in the news this week, the new singer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, what a car. People have probably seen this on the BOTV's Facebook page. Amazing. And there's one person that's a huge fan of this, and we're going to bring him in now. It's the man, the myth, the legend, the guy that pays our wages, <laughs> William Hindmarsh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Very good. Good. I got invited on the show. This you are you have, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a real privilege. It's a real privilege. Yeah. Delighted to be here. Good. Especially with this car. I know. Well, I was going to say, what do you think about it? Well, I, as you may know, I've always had a massive thing about 9-11, especially the 1971. I've always wanted one. Never quite got there. Regretted when they were about 15 grand, you know, 10 years ago. Not picking not up buying one, one. Not buying one, so now about 100 grand. But uh, these, obviously, are the most amazing. They take the retro looks and mm -hmm. just pack it full of the latest technology. And uh, I think they're beautiful. The only problem is the price, isn't it? It's yeah. quite expensive. Yeah, Tim, how much is it? Well, this, this one specifically, this, is, this has been developed with Williams Engineering. Uh, and they've made it completely lighter, carbon everywhere, fancy 500 horsepower engine, just like the new GT3. Wow. Being a classic one, and it's about a cool million pounds. A million quid. But what's, yeah. what price do they start at for a regular singer? Uh, a regular one, I think they start from about 350,000 okay, up so to 500,000. Bit of a premium on this one. So they are effectively Slight. works of art, but yeah. um, very expensive. But well, like, if we have a look at the inside of it, I mean, yeah. that is a work of art, is it not? Look at that. And I mean, the gear linkages. New engineering as well, so it's yes. like buying a brand new car. But with all the classic stuff, I just think it's amazing. And do they use a shell of an old 911 for this? Or it is, is it completely well, that, original? Well, yeah, that's a 1980-something. That's a no, 1990-something. Right. Oh, right. 911. And they, 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 they backdate it and make it look fantastic. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, so it's not even a 70s chassis? No, no, it's a more modern car so that, because that's got better suspension and things. Great. So, Tim, what's the Williams connection? Uh, well, this is actually Williams Engineering. It's not actually the Formula One team, but sure. you know they they've developed this. They, they are like one of the best engineering companies in the world. But what's the, what's the benefit of them doing it? I mean, I think quite it sure. shows off all their their, their abilities. Okay, so they tech. but Singer have built it or in conjunction with it, both of them together. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, and they managed to get this thing down to a ton. It's about well, it's under a thousand kilograms with five hundred horsepower. Amazing. Yeah, nice. it's going to be incredible. Well, thanks for coming all the way downstairs <laughs> to talk <laughs> about one of your favourite cars. Right, here is a rundown of the most popular cars in the competition last week. At number five. Uh, we've got the Audi RS3. This is constantly Brilliant. in there. It's it such a popular car. 400 horsepower, tiny little car. Brilliant. And it drives fantastically. Uh, in at number four. 
Wow. This is a strange one, isn't it? You don't particularly like this. I, I'm not a big fan of, no. of BMWs, yeah, if well, I'm being completely honest. Yeah. The, the E46 M3, it's, it's a classic. Yeah, it, it, it drives amazingly well, I've been told, but they do. never been that fussed about them. Uh, in at number three. Wow. I said two, but I meant three. Uh, in at number three. Uh, yeah, we've got our favourite car. We rambled on about this for ages last week. The Porsche 911 GT3. I haven't driven a better car in the last probably a year. No, I loved it. it. Uh, Absolutely loved coming it. in at number two. Uh, yeah, the, uh, oh, it's the, back. Yeah, the RS5 Carbon Edition. With you know. loads more carbon, as you may have seen on the show last week. We spoke a little, about, uh, a little bit about this and how you can basically get a lot of carbon for a lot less money. Yeah, yeah. And taking the top spot this week at number one is this. Yeah, that's the Mini Mulgari Icon 02. Now, we spoke a little bit about this last week, and then you did a Facebook Live, didn't you? Yeah, which I, I'm assuming is the reason everybody's uh, bought the tickets for it. <laughs> it, was a good, it was a good video, actually. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't realise that they're actually really quite dinky. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're tiny and it's got 280 horsepower. And I, off the cameras, I actually drove this. It was chucking down the rain, but I drove it and it was such a good car. Okay, well, no wonder it came in at number one then. Right, it's competition time and we have got something awesome for you to get your hands on this week. We're giving away two Porsche experiences at Silverstone. Now, I've done this and it is amazing. You'll get to go along with a mate and drive some fantastic Porsches. Turn all the trash control off. You get to go to Porsche Specialist Circuit at Silverstone. They've got the wet grip. They've got the uh, kick plate. It's a fantastic afternoon. Really, really good fun. I, I am very envious. I've not done this, and I really want to. I think, uh, can, I, can I enter, do you think? No, you can't. No, this is all, <sighs> uh, all for you. Okay, well, for all you lucky people that can enter, of course, all you need to do is finish this sentence in less than 10 words. I should win the Porsche Experience Day because... And then your 10 words. In less than 10 words. So comment below. Uh, maybe you want to tag your best mate as well that you'll take and finish this sentence. I should win the Porsche Experience Day because... Then your 10 words. And what we'll do is we will pick a winner uh, and we'll announce it in the show next week. Whoever does win is going to have an awesome time. Trust me. Now, we're going to end the show with a little bit of noise. Oh, go on. I know yeah, what's coming. You do. Now, earlier on, we promised that we're going to show you a little bit more of the Aventador S sound. Uh, now, here's a sound that you're going to really like, Christian. This is it going head-to-head -head in a rev battle with Archie's R8. Ah, the Quality Street R8. Yeah. Okay, let's take a listen. Okay, Archie's going first. I'm going to get away from it. don't know who... What, did Carms. the event all win? Carms, my boy! What? Who won? I'm going to give Archie a 7.5 on the revometer. We're doing a scoring as well. GG. It's an 8.2. Oh! Winner! No, Winner. I, I won. I've completed it. No, that is, that is the first ever car which is louder than that. 300 grand well spent. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> is it, is it yet? I think it's finished, although now I can't hear anything apart from just yeah. high pitched noise. Yeah. Two quite incredible sounding cars, I think we can both agree on that. Yeah, I prefer the V12. Really? Yeah. Okay. Personal <laughs> opinion. Uh, right, thanks again for watching this week. We'll of course be back next week with more BOTV news, looking at previous winners, seeing what happened this week yeah. in the competition. And we might have another little competition to give away, you never know. Thanks again for watching. Thanks, bye bye.